I would not put it in terms of the verb. Because right. sin isn't a verb, it's a noun. It's a thing. And in the Bible, most times, although in English you won't find it written, in Greek there is the word the. The sin. Which is a specific sin. Which isn't a verb. It's a noun. It's a thing. So sin is lost identity. It's lost image. It's not knowing right. who you are. Rather than what we've turned it into is behavior and a verb of doing something wrong. But that's not what the original word means. And religion has focused on the behaviors. So you do something wrong and you're encouraged not to do it again. But if you then focus differently, not what you did, but why you did it, then you come to a different conclusion because when we operate at a lost identity, we do things associated with the identity we're living in. So go back to Adam and Eve. The issue is what they, what they ended up in was independence. So they made the choice that they could be like God without God. Now, you could say they were deceived into that, but they had the choice. God gave them the choice and they chose wrongly. You could say Eve was deceived and Adam chose, but they ended up in independence. And therefore, lost identity is independence from God. So the further we go from our relationship with God, the less life there is. The less abundance of life there is, the more hard life becomes. So ultimately, what did Adam and Eve do? They left the relationship that revealed their identity and they lost. They got amnesia of who they really were. Hmm. So you can't change the behavior to get that identity back. So they could, and that's what they tried to do, of course, by doing sacrifices and, you know, offering offerings to God, trying to appease God because they thought he was angry. And in reality, he wasn't angry at all. He just wanted them to come back to relationship with him. And you have this sort of concept that God turned away from them because he couldn't look at the sin. Because what they were doing was so bad that God couldn't. Well, that, that's just such a ridiculous concept to think God couldn't look at men, man or anybody else because of their behavior. Well, he'd be ran with his eyes closed all the time, wouldn't he? So because he couldn't look. Well, it's nonsense. What what it what it's really looking at there is when God sees what we do, he doesn't see the lost identity. He sees the true identity. And he wants us to discover the true identity, which is why he continued to reach out. He never let man turn away from him. He kept going to face man again with another opportunity. So Adam and Eve chose independence. They walked away from God. They now lived independently from God. But what did God do? Go and find them. And God is always going to find us. No matter where we walk or what we do, God is wanting to find us. Why does he want to find us? Well, he knows where we are. It's not that we're lost from him. You know, of course he knows where we are. But he wants us to find our identity, to find a restored sense of identity so we discover who we are again. Which is why God always turns back to us, not away from us. We keep turning away from him. All we like sheep have gone astray. Everyone doing their own thing. Well, what does God do? Well, he's a good shepherd. He goes looking after the sheep and try and finding them. You know, but he knows where they are, but he wants them to return. He wants them to come back to the reality of who they were, which means you have to give up independence, which is why it's so hard for people. 
because they're used to doing it their own way. And when you then surrender to God's way, you get you give up independence and you begin to discover who you really are. But you can't discover it in independence. Because it's contradictory to the fact our true identity is that we are dependent on the Father. Just like Jesus was never separated from the Father, the Father was in him, were in him, and they were never ever separated. Father, Son, and Spirit, the Trinity, if you like, that circle of the dance, the perichoresis, was always there. They may have been in different realms, but it was always there relationally because there was never a separation. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.